smuts, molds, rusts, mildews. Different kinds of fungi. Probably the fungi we know best are the ones that spoil our food. Literally thousands of types of fungi attack and destroy crops. Others attack our canned and preserved foods almost as soon as they're exposed to air. One of the best known fungi is bread mold. Fungi attack every kind of organic matter, even paper, wood, and cloth. Although we usually think of fungi as harmful, they can also be beneficial because many fungi decompose dead matter and return it to the soil. Along with bacteria, they recycle all the substances that make up life on Earth. Fungi are one of the necessary links in the cycle of life. Fungi have been on the Earth for millions of years, and they have adapted to survive in almost every environment. They can be found in the water, the soil, even in the air. Today, we know of at least 100,000 different species of fungi, and there may be more. The visible part of the fungi, what we can see with the naked eye, is called the mycelium. When we look closer, we can make out that the mycelium is made up of thousands of tiny threads or filaments. Under the microscope, we begin to enter their unique world. The filaments we see now extend from little ball-like shapes, the spores, with time-lapse photography we can see that the filaments, or hyphae, grow out of the spores. As the fungus grows, the hyphae multiply and spread into the host organism. And slowly, the fungus digests its host. Some kind of fungi reproduce sexually through the union of two different spores. Others reproduce alone, asexually. Reproduction takes place on the end of the hyphae. The ball, called a sporangium, is really a spore case. Each sporangium contains thousands of spores. The spore case matures. It bursts open setting free the thousands of new spores. Each of these develops new hyphal filaments. This process repeats itself over and over again until the food supply is exhausted. Some fungi secrete special poisons, antibiotics, to keep bacteria away from their food. More importantly for us, some of these antibiotics will also kill bacteria in people. Today, many of the miracle drugs of the 20th century, 
penicillin, streptomycin, teramycin, and others, are produced from antibiotics made naturally by fungi. The antibiotics are made by first providing a nutrient or food that the mold thrives in. aseptically removed from its container. Then it's streaked across the nutrient, depositing thousands of microscopic spores. The culture is warmed to speed the growth of the fungus. As the spores grow and produce hyphae, they also produce the miraculously effective antibiotics that later can be separated from the fungus and purified to be made into medicine. With the help of the lowly fungus, we have almost wiped out many diseases. Bacterial pneumonia, typhoid fever, tuberculosis, scarlet fever, and dysentery, to name a few. Who knows what other life-saving secrets may be contained in the 100,000 species of fungi? Thank you.